Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> Title of this video is Educate Yourself. Okay? Where's the word educate? Okay? It means give intellectual, moral, or social instruction to someone, especially a child, typically at a school or university. Uh, typically, you could take that part out, but it says especially to a child, okay? Now, it don't matter how old you are, okay, in this, in this world, okay? When you come into this truth, you have to liken yourself as unto a babe, okay? And you have to, to, to basically, um, you have to, to, to give, give heed, okay, onto what the scriptures say and, and learn everything that you have, have ever learned again, okay? So, um, I'm going to continue on. This is, uh, Second Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Okay, if you care about, you know, whether or not there is a most high up in the heavens, okay, if there is a God at all, if you care about that, okay, then you need to, to, to educate yourself and prove that he exists, okay? You need to educate yourself, okay? See, what a lot of people don't do is they don't, they don't do that, okay? And, and the scriptures give everything plainly for for those who are spiritual to see it okay and those who are spiritual to hear it okay so educate yourself okay um continuing on okay um oh it, I, I, it says give someone training and or information on a particular field and the field is the world man Okay, how you supposed to, to, to conduct yourself in the world, okay, as a spiritual person. So educate yourself, man. Okay, it says, a workman that needeth not to be a saint, right, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, and when you, when you, when you, um, go into the scriptures, okay, or even when you when you go in in um the world, okay, you see that there are a lot of different beliefs, okay, a lot of different belief systems, okay, and it's all meant to basically if you look at it, it's it's a lot of division, okay, and if you want to 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 understand why things are the way that they are. You gotta you gotta go into looking up things, man. Okay, I saw I got the inspiration from looking at this. I Googled the, the term educate yourself. Okay, and, and from off of this it says when a question about a certain certain topic pops up, Google it. We have the we have the, the power of Google right before us, man. Okay, when a certain word pops up, Google that word, man. Okay? You have something called uh, etymology, okay? Which the word etymology is the study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history, okay? Look into how the original meaning of that word was, man, okay? And how and how it changed, okay? Like like the word educate, okay? Just look up the word educate. There's nothing wrong with not knowing, okay, something, and then you going through the, 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 the process to actually find out what that word actually means, okay? Now, like, for example, just looking up the word educate, okay, in the, um, in the etymology, it means to bring up children to train. Okay, to bring up, rear, educate, okay? It, it was developed in the mid-15th century, 
okay, um, from the Latin educators, okay, it says bring out, lead forth, okay, at X in the beginning is uh, out and duke, okay, in the middle is to lead, okay, to lead out, okay, that's what educate me, okay, <clears throat> provide schooling, okay, of a child, okay, usually with, with reference to bodily nurture or support, okay, which educare refers more frequently to the mind. There is no authority for the common statement that the primary sense of education is to draw out or unfold the powers of the mind, okay? And your mind is a powerful, powerful uh, tool, man, if you use it. A lot of people don't want to use it, man, okay? So it says, when a question about a certain topic pops up, Google it. Look it up. Watch movies and documentaries. A lot of people... They want to watch movies for, for amusement purposes, okay? When people throw, throw uh, a lot of truth into movies, man, okay? Watch movies and documentaries. People don't like looking up histories, history, okay? They don't, they don't like going into certain um, topics, man, okay? Especially when it comes down to, like, the slavery topic. A lot of people don't want to deal with that slavery topic. Okay, look that up, man. Google it, man. Okay, it says when something sparks your interest, you might not be interested in, in the um the slavery uh part, you know? But but guess what? That's something that you you should at least have some type of knowledge on. It says when something sparks your interest, read about it. Read, read, read. Study, learn, stimulate your brain. Don't just rely on the school system. Educate that beautiful mind of yours. Okay? It says, if you want to be more powerful in life, educate yourself. Okay? If you don't educate yourself on what matters, you will end up living a life chasing materialism, which will lead, always leave you feeling empty. Okay, so when you go into the word ign ignorance, okay, it's lack of knowledge or information. Now, when you go into the scriptures, okay, Hosea 4, and I'm going to start at 1. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. When we tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that you're the chosen people, you know a lot of you a lot of you don't wanna don't wanna hear it, you know? And and that's you know based off of you know how, how things are. It says for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh Basim Yahweh in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. People don't never learn. Okay? Uh, Therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwells therein shall languish with the beast of the fields of the field and with the fowls of, of heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Okay? Yet, yet, let no man strive nor reprove another. And you got a lot. Of, you got a lot of that going on, man. A lot of people aren't aren't are above reproof. Okay, you can't because they don't want to educate themselves. When somebody tells you like, nah, um, you know that's not the truth. You know, these people don't want to listen to that. It says, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Okay, especially when we tell you. That, you know, according to the Bible, that this is how things go. Okay? And a lot of people come up to um, Israelites, okay, and they formulate this opinion, okay, about the Israelites that they don't, whether you whether you for us or whether you're against us, okay, 
if you're not if you're not down on this side, okay, you got some people that that are even on down on this side that don't educate themselves and 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 stay in this truth. But the thing is that the people who who are against us, okay, more more often these people they come up or or, or they walk by or whatever they hear hear this stuff and they don't edu educate themselves and actually learn what we're talking about okay but the thing is that this truth is just for the people that can hear it okay and and can see what's going on okay you have people that that are are down with us and 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 uh uh they're with us like i i should say and they can hear what's going on but they can't actually see okay but then you also have people that can see what's going on, but they don't want to hear it. Okay? Educate yourself, man. You can't shut your eyes up or ears from, from block your eyes or your ears from this truth. Okay? And a lot of people, they do that. Okay? And they don't want to they don't want to get reproved. Especially our people. Okay, the scripture says, Why must you die, O Israel? Okay? It says, therefore shall you fall in the day, and a prophet also shall fall with you in the night. And there's a lot of false prophets out here. It says, and I will destroy your mother. Okay, because a lot of you people out here are going to die, okay, because of your mothers. Okay, and because of the your false religions and beliefs that you have. Okay, it says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you don't educate yourself. Google is right here. It's a powerful tool. It says, because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject you, that you shall be no priest to me, seeing that thou has forgotten the law of God, I will also forget your children. Okay? Continuing on. Okay? Um... This is uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. And here go the thing, right? You can't make it seem like you already know everything, man. Okay? Even if you know something, okay? And, and, and someone is, is bringing out something to you, okay? Sometimes it's best to just be able to, to hear that discourse from that person. Okay? Even if y'all are on the same same um page, man. Okay? But the thing is when you when if you if you see, like for example, Great Millstone, okay, GMS, and we out here on a highway and had just teaching, and you want to come up and you wanna listen, okay, or you wanna learn about this truth. Okay, the 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 last thing you should do is want to uh, sit there and actually uh, argue or, or or make it seem like you know everything. Is this scripture say if you if you seem to be wise in this world, become a fool? Okay, just basically shut down. Okay, and you listen and you actually take in what we're saying. Okay. And if it's for you, it's for you. If it and, and there's some hard sayings, man, that, that a lot of people can't get, man. Like when we say, you know, the, the nigga woman is a is a beast, man, you know, just just straight up wicked. A lot of people they don't like hearing the word nigga woman. Okay? A lot of people don't like hearing when we uh when we cuss and stuff like that. Okay? But here go the thing. If you see us cussing or you see us going into certain things, just sit down and just listen to what the heck we got to say. Okay? If you if you if you uh agree or disagree, then that's on you. Okay? But the thing is just just sit there, just just basically shut your mouth and listen. Okay? And then after you after after you hear what we have to say, then that's when you can say, yeah, these guys believe in that. Okay? Then you can say that. 
But you have a lot of people that are formulating their opinion and they're saying, oh, these guys are racist and these guys are uh, <clears throat> uh, misogynistic, okay? Because we don't, we don't feel like men and women are equal. Not to say that, that, that women are, um, are not important, okay, to a certain degree, okay, because they have to bring back uh, children and stuff like that. But to say that a woman and, and a man is equal goes according, different than the scriptures say, okay? So when you actually see us bring out what the word says, okay, then then that's that's when you gotta just listen to the word, man. That's what the scriptures say. It says uh Romans three and three, for what if some did not believe? So their unbelief make the faith of God without effect. So whether you believe it or not, you ain't changing nothing, man. It says, God forbid, yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar. And you can let us you can you can consider all of us a liar. But let, let the word speak. If you believe in this, these scriptures, let the word speak, man. Okay? It says, it is, a writ, is it is written that thou mightest be justified in your sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay? So let what the scriptures say just, uh, be justified, man. Okay? Even if you feel as though that you know what the scriptures, scriptures say, man. What, this, what did the, that verse just say, man? Okay? Let yourself become a fool. Be as though that you don't know anything. When a Jehovah Witness comes up and they say certain things, if they ever come up or or if any other religion uh, came up and they said something, I'm not going to sit up there and go back and forth with them. I'm going to sit up there and I'm going to let them speak, okay? And then when it's time for me to speak, okay, then I'm going to cut them with what the scriptures say, Okay? And 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 it's not as as far as trying to 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 uh to 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 make it seem like I know everything, okay. But but the scriptures talk about when you when you when you do uh bring out this truth, you know the Lord gonna give a mouth that people can't can't go against, man. Okay, like somebody say that that everybody can be saved or or that you know. Uh, Jesus is a is a so-called white man, okay? We we go according to what the scriptures say. We let the scriptures justify, it, okay? And if they don't want to believe, guess what? Their belief ain't gonna change nothing, man, okay? But the, the the point of this lesson, man, is to educate yourself, okay? Don't cheat yourself, man, okay? And one thing that I like doing, okay, is like, what does the Bible say about education? Okay, and they give you verses about education. Okay, and then they give you like the ESV version, but I go into the blue letter and, and show what it says in the KJV. Okay, so I'm gonna just read some of these scriptures. Okay, uh, Proverbs 16 and 16. How much better is better to get wisdom than gold? To and 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 basically wise or wisdom. Okay, means someone that has proper discernment. Okay, the word fool means someone who doesn't have proper discernment or judgment. Okay, to get it says, How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get understanding is to get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. Okay, and when you go into it, right, with that Proverbs 16 and 16. I believe it says something totally different. Okay. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Okay. So it says something totally different, man. Okay. But a person who doesn't educate themselves, they wouldn't know that. Okay. So educating yourself and actually learning something, okay, for yourself and, and stimulating your, your mind and, and trying to get that understanding of what Yahweh Simeon Shah wants his servants to, to, to know is important, man. Okay? 
So with that, man, you know, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get another one, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end it on this one, okay? Pro Proverbs one and seven: The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So if you actually feared the Lord, okay, then you're gonna understand, okay, a lot of stuff, man. Okay. It says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And a lot of people are fools, man. Okay? It's three different types of fools. Okay? And if you want to learn what those three different types of fools are, then guess what? You got Google. Educate yourself, man. Okay? So with that, I want to say, Shalom.